Today in Draw My Life, the world's current and darkest cults. Look around you. The buildings, streets, nooks and crannies, and the people that walk in it. It's all part of a world you don't know about, and that probably, even as much as you want to, you'll never be able to enter. However, there are some people that do manage to get inside those hidden places, blinded by the hunger for answers to their lives, and by the desire to feel understood. Unfortunately, once inside, they encounter a hog made up of thorns, and the metaphorical darkness makes it very difficult for them to find the way out. This happens, for example, with the first cult that we'll present to you today, the Palmarian Church. This Spanish organization has been the talk of everyone in recent years. Why? Because little by little, its solid secrecy has been broken thanks to the tales of those people who have managed to get out. The origin of this cult was planted at the end of the 1960s, in a place near the village of Palmar de Troya, when some girls said that they had seen the Virgin. From that moment on, apparitions followed one another. This was the perfect excuse for Clemente Dominguez, a man with a strict Catholic upbringing who claimed to have had supernatural heavenly experiences. He managed to be appointed bishop along with other men, But when the matter began to get out of their control, they were all excommunicated. Clemente didn't care about this and proclaimed himself Pope Gregory XVII. Hence, the Palmarian Church withdrew from the Catholic Church after the Second Vatican Council. And since then, they have had four popes. Clemente soon found his audience after claiming that Christ's nails had come out of his hands. Many of his devotees come from France and Germany, people who, in addition to praying, financed the cult. He created his own Palmarian Council, in which he establishes doctrines. For example, services are done in Latin. Women must attend covered by a veil, formally dressed, and in a skirt. They're not allowed to wear pants. The content they read is highly controlled, and movies are forbidden. This is why people who belong to the Palmar end up isolated from the world. Up next, we have world-known Scientology, a system of religious practices and beliefs that emerge from the hands of L. Ron Hubbard. If I tell you that this man was a science fiction author, the puzzle pieces begin to fall in place. Dianetics was the name of the first program with his ideas. He developed it in 1950 while in prison serving time for fraud. Four years later, in 1954, he founded the Church of Scientology. We continue in chronological order. In 1970, the organization was prosecuted by Operation Snow White, where some members managed to steal government documents. In 1977, it is banned in England and Germany, but is under investigation in France, the United States, and Switzerland. In 1986, Hubbard dies and leaves an inheritance of $600 million. 1987, the organization is investigated in Italy for its use of criminal techniques. 1988, following a raid on the Church of Scientology in Madrid, nine of its members were imprisoned for abuse. Scientology preaches that humans are spiritual beings who have forgotten their true nature. Through auditing, practitioners relieve forgotten traumatic experiences in order to overcome them and thus live a better life. Its main purpose is to save humanity from corruption through specific and unknown methods that deepen its education and spiritual growth. However, each and every one of these sessions are not done for free. It is a very hierarchical organization and those who are at a basic level of knowledge do not have the information about what is done at upper levels. It is known that the people in higher positions are part of the C organization, which are around 5,000 Scientologists, and they are fully dedicated to the functioning of the institution. If anyone commits a fault, they are then sent to the Rehabilitation Project Force. That is, five hours of auditing or studying to become a better person, eight hours of work, usually physical, and seven hours of forced sleep. In the 21st century, we got to learn about Scientology because of its close relationship with Hollywood and thanks to artists like John Travolta or Tom Cruise. At the same time, Paul Haggis, director of the film Crash, resigned from the Church of Scientology because it prohibits same-sex marriage. Let's go over to the Holy Spirit Association for the Unification of World Christianity, popularly known as Moon. This nickname is due to the name of its founder, Sung Myung Moon, who founded this movement in South Korea in 1954. There are currently several headquarters in different nations around the world. The answer to their beliefs can be found in the text Divine Principle, written in 1946 and later edited in 1957. In it, Moon tells how Jesus Christ appeared to him when he was only 16 and told him to finish the work he had left undone, since he was crucified. 
Moon accepted the mission. He began preaching in North Korea in 1946 until he was imprisoned for anti-communism. During the Korean War, he was released by the American army and sent into exile in South Korea. There, he built his first church out of mud and cardboard boxes. And in 1954, as we already told you, he officially founded the Holy Spirit Association for the Unification of World Christianity with strong anti-communist overtones. The main characteristic of this cult is that the leader, who died in 2012, was considered to be the new Adam. And after his third marriage, his wife became the new Eve. From that moment on, the mission of the Unification Church was to form a Moonist family. So they began to give a lot of importance to weddings. They began to hold mass ceremonies in which men and women were chosen at random to be married. The organization has been in the eyes of the authorities on several locations. Moon was in prison for tax evasion and was also a major arms dealer. Part of the money they collected was used for their fight against communism. Their form of recruitment is not very different from that of other cults. They approach people on the street, talk to them about peace and fraternity. Then, they invite them to one of their houses for a conference. Little by little, they are introduced into their world and isolated from their loved ones. Sometimes, they use the lack of sleep and food to persuade easily. It is said that their followers live with a permanent absence of air. They speak the same tone and even use the same phrases. The next cult is Raelianism a UFO religion that defends that we have been created by much more advanced extraterrestrial beings called Elohim, which in Hebrew means those who came from the sky. Therefore, they claim that all life on Earth was genetically engineered 25,000 years ago. Human beings can achieve immortality through human cloning and mind transfers. But how? Who knows? Its founder is the Frenchman Claude Vorillon, also known as Rael, which means messenger, since he is in charge of transmitting the message given to him by the aliens. He had two encounters with them, one in 1973, where he spent five days, and another in 1975, where he traveled to their planet and there they transferred to him all the necessary knowledge to create the cult. They claim they do science, but are reluctant to show their scientific findings. In 2002, they said they had made their first successful human cloning, but there was no trace of the cloned baby, so there are doubts about the truth to this story. The symbol of Raelianism is formed by a swastika, yet they claim it is not their intention to be associated to the Nazis, but rather to represent the original meaning of peace transmitted by the Elohim. And the last cult of the day, the Neocropolis. This organization was founded in Argentina in 1957 by Jorge Ángel Libra. Its ultimate goal is to instill the philosophical and cultural teachings, especially those from classical Greek traditions such as Plato. So far so good, right? Well, the fact is that behind this philanthropic image, they carry out obscure practices. Just like every cult, the Neocropolis is full of secrecy, fostered by its hierarchical structure. In fact, their ideal model of society is that of castes. Its members are divided into three different groups called living forces. One is the labor brigade, which is male. The other is called the women's brigade. And finally, the security forces. A member can only be part of one of the groups. They must perform at least 12 hours of voluntary work per week, which can be increased in case of punishment, and they have very strict training with strong traditionalist character. It has a strong fascist influence that is shown in a manual written by the founder, in which all people unfit for the new world are rejected. In 1984, the European Parliament described it as a fascist and paramilitary group. Many of its members have been charged with advocating racism, misogyny, and such other atrocities. These are the current cults that are characterized by the physical damage they leave on their followers. Paranoia and depression are the most common symptoms suffered by those who manage to leave a cult. Did you know about these organizations? If you want to know more about the cults that had a much tragic ending, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Until the next video!